what's going on with the world out there how everybody doing you know friend or foe mm, mm, mm. Hope everybody's listening. Because um, this is my honest truth, man. My honest opinion on how I feel about this shit. The title's called No Excuses. Because when June 18th come and all the bets are placed on Fury, I don't want to hear no excuses about it was rigged and all that. I didn't already said this to y'all. And y'all said I was crazy. Oh, no, nah, you're crazy. It wasn't real. You're just making up excuses. Keep that same energy when Fury loses on June the 18th. Because all the money's going to be put on Fury. They're not giving up that money, man. It's not happening. Oh, well, well why would Fury sell out? He's he, too much pride. Why there's too much pride? Because they work for them. See, Floyd didn't have to do that. Because Floyd works for himself. Floyd's not signed to a contract to somebody. So a lot of times, yes, all the money was placed on Floyd, right? But he doesn't work for the uh, people like Wilder and Fury do. Fury works for Bob Aaron, remember? Wilder works for uh, the other guy. I forget his name, remember? Right? So I'm just tired of people saying that I'm making excuses. I've already said in the first fight, the fucking punches did not land clean on Fury. I don't give a damn what y'all say. Especially that last one. Deontay is not winning a rematch unless he learns. Uh, here you go. You're still talking about it's being real. I'm telling you from my perspective of what I see. I don't think it's real. I just don't. I seen it when I felt it. It's like God told me something was not right. It's not right. Why is Fury celebrating before the fight? Why is Wilder to look like he lost his mom before the fight? Why? Even if Wilder was getting tagged with shit, Wilder is a wild fighter. He's going to be swinging for broke. He didn't do anything. He just stood around and just got beat on. And I'm trying to tell y'all right now, that's what's going to happen with Fury. He's going to sit around, He's going to get beat on. I've already made a video on this. So when it happens, no excuses. Don't say it was rigged and Fury got played off. Nah, nah, fuck that. Because when I tried to say that's what happened with Wilder, oh, you thought I was lying. Even in the first fight, I'm telling you, Wilder did not really knock down Fury. The punches barely touched him, if at all. So you can't say I'm just saying that because of this fight. I been said it. All right, my bad. Of course, it's going to be three and only you because you're looking at it as real life. That's the difference between me and y'all. I think all sports is entertainment, not realistic. You still looking at it as it's real. I know it's not real. It's too much money for it to be real. Boxing in Vegas is not going to give up no $600 million for a Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. It's not happening. You are dealing with people with way much power. Just because Fury and Wilder is famous to you and they seem like big people to you, they're little compared to the people who run the whole damn thing. Something wasn't right with Wilder. He looked like he lost his mom. I'm just being honest. I'm not saying that Wilder's a better boxer than Fury, and I'm not saying that Fury couldn't do what, what happened. 
I just don't see it. Something was not right. When I seen Stephen A talking to Wilder with his head down and shit, I knew something wasn't right, man. You could see, if you learn how to read body language of people and shit, you could see. Dude looked like he lost his best friend. And that does not mean that Fury couldn't beat him. I'm not saying that. 110 days to the fight. And I'm going to the fight. It's entertainment to me. That's what it is. It's entertainment. I don't take it as, oh, Wilder lost. And I don't take it as that. Even if it was real. But I know it's not. There's too much money on the line for it to be real. 70% was betting on Wilder. Vegas is not taking that L. Boxing is not taking that L. They're already taking L's with design or however you say that name and all these things. Wilder knew he was going to lose. I don't know about that, man. Because if you knock somebody down in the 12th round, you got to have some type of confidence. And you feel like, oh, well, why'd he get up? I just don't see it. But I don't think he knocked him down in the 12th round because I don't think it was a real knockdown. Again, y'all are looking at it from it being real. I'm not. And when June 18th, July 18th come, and Fury don't look like himself, when Fury don't look like himself and all this shit, don't say I didn't tell y'all, man. I'm telling y'all because I don't think it's right. If if it is fake, like I think, it's not right for people to lie to y'all and think you're watching something real. I feel like Wilder and Fury already had this shit already planned out. Now, is every boxing match fake? I don't know about that. I can't say that. But I think th these fights, something's going on with these. Just my opinion. Where are you getting a 70% from? Go go do your research on it. See how many people bet it on Wilder. And guess what? We already know everybody going to bet on Fury next time. There's no doubt about that. And they not giving that money up. I'm telling you, man. They not going to say, well, Tyson Fury, we want you to be the champion. So we're going to pass up $600 million. Not happening. Ain't happening. It's not happening. Well, Fury don't have to do it. Yes, he does because he's under contract with them. Floyd is not. Even though Floyd is a great fighter and one of the best, he could have been telling those people he fought that you got to lose. Oh, I'm not going to fight you because you don't want to cooperate, but I'll fight this guy because he, he'll take the fall. We'll make it look real, but he won't do enough to actually beat me. I'm not saying that that's what happened, but um, I don't know about it. I know that McGregor shit for sure. That was all right. We know that was fake. If you think that shit was real, I don't, there's no help for you. You know, I don't even know why I'm making a video if you think McGregor versus Floyd was real. Everything's all about the money. That's what I'm telling people, man. It's a business. It's entertainment. And, they, and, and people just don't get it. People act like they are, are going to chance losing $600 million. No, we're not chancing shit. Why are you losing this fight? Fury, there's too much money on you. You got to lose this fight. You can't win. You can't win, Fury. It's too much money for it. It's too much money. Oh, don't worry. We're going to cash you out. You're going to be good. But you losing this fight. I know, I know parts of Fury's camp. I'm a friend with several aspects. It's a money making aspect. I think all of the hate diminishes the sport. Mayweather definitely was fixed, but Mac May. Probably, but that doesn't mean that Floyd can't beat uh, uh, Pacquiao and it doesn't mean that Fury can't beat Wilder. I'm not saying that in this video. I'm not saying if it was a legitimate fight, which it, maybe it was, but I don't think so. I'm not saying that Fury couldn't beat Wilder. I'm just saying we don't get punching power like that overnight. He's never been a power puncher. Oh, he added on weight. So did Wilder. I just feel like Wilder's spirit, I felt in his spirit, man, I felt it. Like, damn, something is seriously wrong with this dude. Before the fight. Not when he was uh, supposedly getting beat up. No, before the fight. And Fury celebrating already. Have y'all ever seen a boxer celebrating like they won before a fight? 
That dude was happy than the motherfucker. And at the end, to add it all off, Fury told y'all, Wilder will be a champion again. Why is he saying that? If if I'm Fury, I'm trying to be undisputed. So how do I know? Why would Wilder, where's, where's these belts Wilder going to get from the heavyweight division if I'm Fury trying to grab all the belts? Garcia versus Vargas, what I like to see in boxing. Probably because it was a real legitimate fight. I still don't think the Kovalev versus, um, you know, Canelo was legit. I knew when they announced that shit, like, nah, this this probably ain't real, man. And, you know, but, you know, people are going to say you're hating and this and that, and that's fine. I don't, I don't got time to argue about it. I know Kovalev don't fight like he was fighting. I know that much. And that doesn't mean Canelo couldn't beat him. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying something was up with that fight. I'm telling y'all, man. When you when you don't when you see certain shit that just don't look right, it just don't look right. And here comes somebody else. Fury up 19 rounds. Look, man, that's that's your opinion. You think it's real, that's fine. I, I'm not here to argue that. I'm telling you what I feel. And I don't feel it's real. So when the Fury loses that next fight, don't say nothing about it was fixed. Because you said that it's real. You know, you said Fury's up 19 rounds. So when Fury loses that next fight, don't say it was real. I don't want to hear all the ref cheated, none of that. No, no, I don't know. You said it was real. But I'm going to let y'all go, man, for now. We're going to find out. I just don't want no excuses when it happens. I also think the AJ versus what's his name is something that's wrong with that. It's too much money. Four, 42 to 1. That means they would have lost all that money. Mayweather's a joke in my opinion. Probably because Mayweather probably turned more to a businessman. And like I said, the fights that he made with people, there probably was some type of something to do with it. And I'll admit that. That still don't mean Floyd's not a great fighter. Don't mean Fury's not. You know, but when it comes to money... You know, people's not going to chance losing a bunch of money. It's just not happening. It's just not happening, y'all. And not only that, man, like uh, Mayweather's a face of boxing, just like Canelo. Canelo ain't taking no L unless somebody knocks him out somehow or until he gets older and they find somebody worth more money. Then they'll probably convince Canelo to take the L to the next cash cow or something. It's just business, dog. I don't give a fuck what y'all say, man. It's the truth. It's the fucking truth, bro. Just like in the NFL, the, you know, the teams that seem to make more money, the bigger, sometimes, not always, but a lot of times, either the team that's making the most noise or the team that brings the most revenue. All these small cities like Cincinnati and all that bullshit, Cleveland and all that, man, they losing. They don't bring in enough money, man. So I'm going to join my Mexicano food. You know I love Mexican food. Gotta have Mexican ancestors in my blood or something. Because I love this shit. Always. Every day of the week. I'm about to let y'all go, man. He he wanted to bet on his own fight with McGregor. Mayweather in his younger days. I respect it. Of course he bet on his own fight. And he knocked him out the same time he bet it, too. Ain't that some shit? Shit, mate. Uh, McGregor might have had somebody bet on a fight, too. He already know what's going to happen. So since I already know what's going to happen, oh, yeah, I'll just bet on the fight, too. I'll have somebody bet for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. Straight the fuck up, man. Just like the John Jones shit. John Jones really should have probably lost that last fight, but you know why he didn't lose. It's too much money, man. He's worth too much money. Don't y'all get it, man? That doesn't mean John Jones ain't still a beast and shit, but come on, man. I don't know about that last fight. You know? And that might be a reason why uh, some, somebody like Canelo won't fight somebody like Charlo or something, at least not right now. Not because they're scared of Charlo, but because they know that Charlo's not going to cooperate when it comes to the business side of it or take that L. You see what I mean? So well, I can't fight you right now. Shit like that. But I'll just fight the people that's willing to cooperate and, and stage the show and make the money, you know? Definitely about money and entertainment, man. 
So instead of beating each other up and cussing each other out and all this other shit, people breaking their TVs in their house because their Super Bowl team lost and shit. Man, this shit is entertainment, man. Enjoy this shit. I can't wait for the excuses. I have no excuses. I'm talking about the excuses if when Fury loses, because I already know what's going to happen, man. When he loses, because it's set to be that way, I don't want to hear no excuses from nobody. I don't want to hear no fix, none of that. Keep that same energy. And even if Fury wins, then that just means that's going to make that AJ fight bigger. But I don't see it. You, and notice how quick the fight is already back on. That quick. That quick. So this guy's saying I make excuses, but I'm the same guy that says Wilder really didn't knock down Fury in the first fight. You can't have it both ways, bro. If I'm making excuses for Wilder, let me say this for this guy because he's a slow racist guy, I guess. He don't get it. USC is rebunked as entertainment. They, WD, owns the majority of production. NFL is classified under entertainment, not sports. But let me say this for this Joseph guy that thinks somebody cares about something that I'm saying is entertainment. If I was making excuses, I would not say Wilder really didn't knock down Fury in the first fight. Why would I say that? I said that even before they fought the second time. You can ask Frank about that. So how am I making excuses of I already said in the first fight, Wilder really didn't knock down Fury. That was fake. Where is the excuse? I would be holding on that to, for dear life. Oh, no. Nah, no, nah, Wilder knocked him down. Really, man. And, and it, nah, I don't know about that. Like I said, the shit looked fake to me. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. And as far as the glove shit, I find that I, if this was really like legit, I don't know if it is or not. But if it was, why ain't Wilder complaining about it? Unless Wilder knows, all oh, this shit, it don't matter anyway, because they about to give me the bells back. Think about it. You would at least hear Wilder say something. Like, hold on, man. There's an internet videos going around saying Fury did this or that. So it makes you wonder why ain't he saying anything. It makes you wonder why ain't he saying anything. Everybody thinks that I'm defending Wilder when really I'm defending the fact that the shit is entertainment and not realistic. That's all. <laughs> they don't get it. That's why I keep telling you that he really didn't probably knock down Fury in that last fight. Go back and keep rewinding the shit if you got to. Wilder can't box. Once again, talking talking to somebody who... Uh, He's talking like I think boxing is real. All this dude keeps doing is saying wilder, 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 like I care, you know what I mean? Because he thinks it's about wilder. He thinks this video is about because wilder lost. Well, really, it's about all the fights, even the first fight. And when Wilder wins in the third fight, because it's going to happen, too much money is going to be put on Fury. Make sure you say Wilder can't box. Please make sure. Please print that down. Make sure you say it. Wilder can't box. I don't want to hear no rig shit. I don't want to hear none of that. No, I didn't. You liar. You're a liar, Joseph. I clearly already said that Frank Frank already is my witness that I said that the knockdowns didn't look fake. And that was before this fight. So miss me with your bullshit, bro. You got the wrong guy. I don't got to give you energy. I don't really need to be speaking to a racist person anyway. And for the record, Fury is Irish, which means he has black ancestors. So Fury has got black in him. So miss me with the bullshit. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm tired of hearing it, man. Oh, the white guy. Fury got black in him, dog. 
Just like I got different races than me. Miss me with your bullshit. Fury listens to black music. Fury got black friends. Ain't no reason to hate Tyson Fury. He's a good dude, man. Miss me with your bullshit, bro. Shit is sad, man. I'm out this motherfucker, man. Like I said, no excuses when it happens. Because I already see how this shit's about to play out. They're going to get Wilder his belt back like nothing ever happened. And everybody made a whole bunch of money. And Fury and, Ty and Wilder's name got big off of this. It'll get bigger. Because remember, Wilder was struggling to uh, make a million dollars of fighting shit like that. And Fury wasn't doing too good his damn self. So what they did, they came together and used each other to make each other bigger and more relevant. Like AJ, who for somehow just got lucky and became relevant. AJ was born in the right place at the right fucking time, basically. You know, if AJ was in the U.S., it'd probably be the same shit as Wilder. It'd be hard for him. But he's in a uh, state where they support. You know, he's in a uh, country where they support. So he's lucky. He got lucky. He ain't getting to me, dog. I'm just putting I'm just putting it out there. You know, he's trying to he's still trying to make it seem like I hate Fury or something. I really don't. No reason to hate Tyson Fury, man. He's a good dude. Outside of boxing. You know, it's deeper than just boxing. It's entertainment anyway, so who gives a fuck? They all make him money. I ain't even mad at him. Can't be mad at him. You know? But I'm going to get in here, man. Y'all y'all stay up. You know, everybody. Even if you are racist and shit, who gives a fuck? I don't care. That's your problem, not mine. You know what I mean? You deal with it. But uh, until next time, man, just remember, don't say no rig shit. None of that bullshit on July 18th. If Wilder loses I don't, or wins, I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. Oh, I was rigged and all this shit. And even the people who think it's real, you're not going to hear me say, ha, ha, yeah, Wilder's better. He knocked him out because I've already told y'all how I felt about it. So you're not going to see no post for me saying that shit. You hear me? You ain't going to hear that because I already know. You know, if this shit was really legit, Wilder would be speaking out about them damn gloves. Even if he didn't know, he'd be like, hold on, I need to check this shit. It's all over everywhere, and Wilder ain't said one word about no gloves. So you mean to tell me if this shit was really legit, and somebody's coming and said, hey, Wilder, look. Look what Fury did. You ain't gonna say nothing? You ain't gonna say nothing? Fury's not the ring king. Money's the ring king. And on July 18th, you will find out who's the king. Money. Ain't no Fury. Money, dog. July 18th, keep that same energy. All right? All right, Dwayne? July 18th, Fury's King. Keep saying that shit. Money's King, dog, when it comes to this entertainment. Period. Point blank.